That's right, and single-handed. Well, where's Joyce, then? A woman's place is by her husband's side, and my washing has to take second place. Well, what's the matter with Jeff? He's in the throes of composition, and she's helping him. Good way. One man, alone and defenceless, a small, bright cork, tossed on the bitter sea of moral turpitude. Hmm, not bad. Wonderful. What's it mean? It has to mean something? Okay, Josie, fresh paragraph. So what must the outcome be? Is our hero to sink beaten and frustrated, or will help come in the nick of time? Help from across the sea in the shape of a handout from his kind and indulgent father. No kidding, Daddy, I really need the money. Finish off, love from your obedient son, T. Jefferson Rogers. I'll leave a space and I'll sign it. Thank you, Joyce. You're so quick, yet so neat. There's gold and then there flying fingers. Mm, there could be. Why won't you let me take a job? We are not starting that again. Oh, yes, we are. You have a job helping me with my writing. <laughs> the only writing you do these days is home for money. <laughs> Why don't you exaggerate? Okay, so I struck a dry patch. It happens. Now, are we ready to resume? All right. <coughs> Let's have the next begging letter. Oh, you women, don't you love to magnify? You take one isolated little incident and enlarge it out of all proportion. Just because I happen to write one letter, one tiny little letter to my own father, you try and... Hold it. Something stirred. Inspiration? Yeah. Quick, start typing, Joycey. My dear great uncle Herman. You ain't got your washing machine yet, then? Oh, for heaven's sake, yes, he does it look like it. <laughs> no, I keep on and on and on at him, and I get the same answer when we can afford it. Still, it's nice to have something to look forward to, though, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so's me old age pension, and I look as though I should get them both about the same time. <laughs> Mine have a bit. <sighs> Hello? What are you doing on this time of day? Oh, speak up, for heaven's sake. I've got the sack. <laughs> what, again? <laughs> Do you mind? All right, what for this time? I don't know. They said something about me being redundant. Redundant? Well, you've only been there three days. <laughs> All right, if you're back on the arm strength, making yourself useful, you are cabold. On the line. But, Mum... Eddie! And don't drop him in the mud. I don't know, that boy. Oh, go on, he's young. He'll settle down. Settle down? He's practically retired. <laughs> in and out of work so often, his insurance card looks like a draft board. <laughs> Still, I suppose he can't help taking after his father. Oh, no. No, you can't say that. I reckon your Alf's done all right for himself, what with his promotion and all. Promotion? Him, canteen manager, I can't even boil himself an egg. No, no. <laughs> I speak as I find, and I reckon your house done all right giving our Mert a job, and I'm most grateful to him. Well, I'm glad somebody is, because what that canteen's like with him and Myrtle, I just hate to think. Oh, go easy with the milk Myrtle we're feeding a factory, not the day nursery. Yes, Mr Larkin. And after that amount of sugar is ample, you'll rot their teeth. And get a new bit of string on that spoon, love. Yes, Mr Larkin. Right, then, we're all set for the 10.30 stampede. <laughs> Uh, Myrtle, 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 that salmon tin wasn't left there, mate. That was placed there. I bought that from home special. What for? A decoy. Them paste sandwiches ain't been going at all well. All right, stand by, Myrtle. All the invasion started. All right, be lucky this. Come and get it, then. Come and get what sandwiches and cheese rolls again. Oh, when are we going to get something hot? Something? You'll be plenty hot where you're going to, mate. Something? What do you reckon? This is the flipping wall, dope Astoria, and it marvellous. Right, yeah, what's all this? <laughs> <clears throat> you uh, carry on, Myrtle, and if anybody wants me, I'm in with the governor. Come in. Oh, Charlie, what's that? Oh, I'll have yours brought in when the rust has died down a bit, too. Oh, well, I can go and fetch me own and she's visit. mate, sit down, mate. What, the governor fetch his own? See, I never heard of such a thing. I'm all for democracy myself, mate, but you've got to watch it with this lot here. You give them half an inch, you know, they'll walk all over you. Aye, I've noticed. Now, will you mind, Alf, I'm very busy. Mind you, with you and me, it's different, though, isn't it? I mean, we're old comrades in arms. When you've been through the war with a bloke, when you've saved the bloke's life, it's not easily forgot. I go, it's not... Well, what is it? My bonus. Oh, no, Alf, I haven't had time. Look, George, when I said I'd take over the canteen, there was a sort of gentleman's agreement. I wasn't know. It? A substantial bonus was mentioned. Aye, you mentioned it. Well, where is it? I reckon when I've been, uh, since I've been running at the canteen, I must have saved you pounds, mate. 
Smaller sandwiches, everlasting tea bags, and didn't I get you Myrtle? Aye, you did. Yeah, well, she's unschooled, I'll grant you that, but she's willing. So, getting back to the bonus. Look, I keep telling you I haven't had time to go into the figures. Look at all this, look. I'm in factory most of the time, and paperwork just has to wait. Now, be a good lad and leave it till I can get sorted out, honey. I'll say no more. Do you know what you need, George? A secretary. Aye, I'll get one. You've got one. My daughter, Joyce, she used to be a secretary. Oh, yeah, no. Now, I'll... don't worry, mate. She's dying to hop back into harness. She'll take all this off your hands, mate. Answer the telephone, do your letters, work out my bonus. Don't worry about it, mate. I'll have her here first thing in the morning. No, Joycey, no, no, no. Definitely, finally, and for the last time, no. Pour me a cup of tea, love. Mustn't keep Dad waiting. Pour me one. You pour your own. Thanks, love. And thanks for being sweet and understanding. I am not sweet and understanding. I am appalled, outraged, and disgusted. And so am I. There, Joycey, you see? He's fallen in love. Yeah, oh, that was nice. Uh, now then, let's see. Oh, Mum, how do I look? I'd rather not comment if you don't mind. I gave you my views last night. I told him mind my own business. If you choose to do that, your husband will go get him out and offer some of his job. That's entirely up to you, but don't ask me to pass an opinion. Here, come out of that. You're not going out on an empty stomach. Ma, can't you reason with her? Well, if you ask me... Nobody asked you. If you finish your breakfast, you can wash up. I'm short-handed. Well, of all the... Eddie! You're so good at finding people jobs, why didn't you find me one? I've got a job for you, son. Honey, stay. Yes, cop that and brush me down the back. <laughs> and be careful, you're going through the canvas. Are you ready, Joycey? Never mind the valet service. Get on with the washing up. I don't know. Stand in for me, sister. Oh, Eddie, oh. I'm sorry. Wrap up. Well, I hope you're satisfied, you home wrecker, you. Home wrecker? Yes, we was happy family, wasn't we, until you started to turn talent scout. Ta-ta, love. I'll wait for you in the garden, Joyce. Bye, Mum. Wish me luck. No, oh, you won't need it, love. You look smashing. Oh. Here, I've made some sandwiches for you. Whatever you do, don't take nothing out of his canteen. <laughs> hey, Joyce, Joyce, you've been out to work before, haven't you, love? You know that a firm's business is highly confidential. Well, of course. Good. Now, listen, you're going to do some priority figuring today. A large sum of money will be involved, which... As far as your mother is concerned, it's top secret. All day long and not a single spark. Oh, Joycey, how could you do this to me? Well, I like that. Look what she's done to me. Scrubbing the floors, making the beds, polishing the silver. I'm a flipping surf. That's what I am. Oh, do be quiet. It'll be good training for you. Training? Yes, yeah, she'll be married yourself someday. Hello, you haven't got any far, have you? It's gone, Ma. Inspiration has left me. Without Joycey, I'm like a torch without a battery. I may never write again. Oh, don't say that, love. But I do say that. All right, in that case, you're not with the housework. Ah, no, 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 I've got to fight this thing. Cheer up, she'll be back in a minute. If she's got the nerve to come back. Torture me. Go on, torture me. Wait a minute. That's it. There's this guy, see? Just an ordinary guy. Brilliant, sensitive. Waiting for his wife to come home. We get right inside this guy's mind. We see the torment, the agony. We see him gradually going mad. But she doesn't come home. She has mysteriously disappeared. I'm home! Oh, what a day! Could have worked overtime too, but I thought you'd worry. We were worrying. Another half hour and I had a bestseller. Oh, well, how'd it go? Marvellous! The office was in an awful muddle, but I soon got things straightened out. And the boss, Mr. Potter, is an absolute darling. How much can a man stand? Oh, you're taxed, aren't you? You didn't get the sack then. No, they want me to work there permanently. How much can a man stand? Hey, I'm not very popular, am I? Never mind, you've got your father on your side. Uh-oh. I believe it was the one. Yeah, I know. But you see, Mum... How much can a man stand? My daughter. My own daughter. I said I'm sorry, Sorry. Dad. She says she's sorry. Well, now what's she done? What has she done? She's made a right cake up. That's what she's done. First day on the firm, my bonus. My beautiful bonus. What bonus? Betrayed by my own daughter. Sit down. Take your hat off. Be calm. Now, what bonus? You even had to let that out, didn't you? Oh, 
did it? All right, since you know that, I'll tell you the rest. She worked out my bonus, and according to her reckoning, I owed a firm 25 knicker. Well, I went through it three times, and it worked out so long. Oh, that's a dead flipping loss, isn't it? I told you not to deduct the breakages. Well, if it's right, it's right. It, it is not right. Well, Mr. Potter said that it was yes, right. Yes, he, he would, he would, he would, wouldn't he? Yes, he would. After all I've done for that man. Oh, well, he's had his chance. I gave him the ultimatum. Pay the bonus, I said. I'll take the consequences. He chose the letter. I've come out. You what? I am on strike. You mean the firm's on strike? Not the firm, just Dad. The others weren't interested. That is not true. I had Myrtle wavering. Hey, all right. So I'm a one-man strike, but it's 100% solid. A one-man strike? I've never heard anything so silly in all my life. You can't be on strike all on your own. Oh, yes, I can. Well, I am. And that's it. Oh, is it? We'll see about that. I'll be up at that firm of yours first thing in the morning. Eddie, must you do that? Yes, I must. And if you were anything like you, turn to and give me a hand. OK, I'll give you a hand. Will you? Well, sweep under me. Oh. Here, Eddie, give these a bit of a polish, will you, sir? Yeah, it's not fair. Well, when you finish your sweeping... I've got a big pile of spuds to peel before Mum comes home. Then you'd better move yourself, hadn't you? Ooh. I see that you're still swinging it with the same bit of blank paper. I'm saving it for your letter to Transport House. Yeah, but that will not be necessary because I am confidently anticipating your ma-in-law's return with George Potter's unconditional surrender. <laughs> Poor devil. Still, he bought it on himself. And there she is, my favourite strike breaker. I don't know about breaking strikes, I'd like to break your neck. What was that? Sending me up there, making me look a fool. Making you look a fool? Yes, I've been into it and you've got no case, you've got no case at all. No case. The way you've been running that canteen is nothing short of criminal. Now look, Ada. The defence rests. Now look. you finish them potatoes yet. Now do these one of you might have put the kettle on. All right. Eddie. Uh, all right, you can say what you like, Ada. All right, I am still on strike. And that Mr. Potter, a nice man, if ever I saw when I was right sorry for him. I say that I am still on strike. Yes, we agreed that would be the best thing under the circumstances. What circumstances? Oh, I forgot to tell you, I've got a job. A job? Yes, yours. Canteen manager at the start, first thing in the morning. <laughs> I suppose, eh, do you realise that you are technically a black leg? Oh, do be quiet and pour the tea now. I've got everything. Clean white overall, apron. Cookery book. Cookery? Uh, don't you start cooking for her, mate. You'll create a precedent. Well, whatever that is, it must be better than what you were giving them. Ugh, poison. <laughs> what one of you useless idiots made that? I did. Oh. Well, it must have been the way it was poured. <laughs> Come on to work. And that don't just mean us. Oh, no. All right, Mum. That means you and all. Me? Yes. If I'm taking over your job, you've got to take over mine. You don't suppose I'm going out to do hard ways day's work and then come back and do another one, do you? Well, do you? Well, no. No. Over to you, Pop. It's all yours. Not quite. <laughs> You'll be helping him. Me? Yes, you. You got away with murder long enough. Come on, Mum. We're Mr. Buck. Oh, yes. Wish me luck. <laughs> I suppose you realise this is all your fault? Will you keep calm, son? There's always a loophole. Look, she said we've got to do all the work. All the housework has got to be done in... Loophole? Yeah. Eddie. Exactly. Blimey's been trained for it. Of course. Eddie, time for work. Yeah, I know. Yes, your ma left certain instructions, Eddie. That's right. I've got to report to her at the factory. She expects me out with a job. Wish me luck. He gets it. <laughs> There we are, Mr. Potter. Aye, that's a picture, that is. Pity to spoil it with this straw. There. My word, the change is... Oh, oh thank you. Thanks, Myrtle. My, that's what I call a cup of tea. Just like Mother makes. But, of course, it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I was looking to get her, you know. A nice, refined woman like that. Come on, for heaven's sake, I've only got one pair of hands. There we are. Thank you. There, fill this. And get rid of that. For goodness sake, and fill that up. Anybody would think we didn't trust you, wouldn't you? There we are. 
cup of tea and a cream slice. Forgive the chit sauce if I'm not properly organised yet. Here, where's the old man then? Is this a change of management? Yes, I'm managing him, and he's managing the best he can. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you see that, Jeff? It's dead easy once you get the hang of it. I don't know what the women make all the fuss about. Ask work, nothing to it, love. What'd you say, Pop? I was saying, well, why did you switch that flipping thing off? I was saying... I was saying that this housework is a dead doddle. I shall be finished this table by lunchtime. You want to be very careful. You might strain something. Ah, oh, you don't want to be like that, son. I mean, it was me that got the shopping, wasn't it? Well, I mean, wasn't it? I suppose so. It certainly took you long enough. Well, I had a right job with that there basket on wheels, I can tell you. Loaded up, I was weaving down the high street like perishing Benner. What did you get for lunch? A crate of brown and a tin of baked beans. Oh. I don't know what you're having. You know, I'm beginning to enjoy this. Women out the way, nice and quiet. I'm going to have a nice kip after lunch. What? Hey, oh. Don't be careful, son. Don't be careful, son. Don't hang on the oh. quietest, mate. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Go. Go. Oh. Now, switch it, go. Care to say a few words? Hey, da. <laughs> Roast beef and batter pudding, or steak and kidney pie, and then apple tart and custard after. There. I really don't know how you manage before I come here. You've done wonders, Mrs. L. All these marvellous hot dinners. You know, you've done more in three weeks than your old man done the old time he was here. Well, Isn't thank you yes. very much. Yes. That's very nice of you to say so, but then I'm organised now and I've got more staff. And I'm a worker and I come from a family of workers. That reminds me, where is he? Have you finished them potatoes of the second sitting yet? I've got a good mind to go on strike with Dad. What? <laughs> I do hope they've said that new potato cleaning machine. We shall need that now we've lost Eddie. Ain't it marvellous? When we do get him back, he turns up with spud bashers, Frank. Yeah. Let's have another look at that medical certificate. Yeah, well, it could be a forgery. Ah, uh, what does it matter? I'm pulse carrying. I've plumbed the depths. I'm just numb. Come on, Jeff. Yeah, you know what you two need? An home help. Home help and a housekeeping she gives us. All right, then you can find a kind neighbor to take pity on you. Kind neighbor? Hetty. Here I am. I said she'd ask me to help. Oh. She did? <laughs> she said I wasn't to. <laughs> well, I'm so sorry, but I mean, after all, she is my best friend, and she and tea is thicker than water. Not the way you make it. Oh, well, of course, my dear, that's the way you see it. There are other kind neighbours. Don't waste your time. She's been round them all. <laughs> I say, she got you two properly sewn up, hasn't she? <laughs> this is that George Hotter. After all I've done for that man. Did I tell you I once saved his life? You've told me many times, Pa. How? It was the last war. Fire watching. Enemy planes overhead. He wanted to go across to the Fox for a beer. 
I persuaded him to use the lion and unicorn. They bombed the fox. <laughs> oh, there you are. Have you ringing around front? That bell's not working, like me. What do you want? Where can we talk? In there. Look, it's about your missus. Yeah. You've got to help me out. I can't stand it any longer. She's driving me mad. She's running the factory. She's running me, organizing, expanding. She'll have me in the workhouse. Alf, you'll have to take her away. Take her away? She'll have to go, Alf. Look, you know who she had peeling spuds yesterday? Not you, Joe. No, worse. The shop steward. Oh, Alf. <laughs> if I don't get shot of her, I'll have a strike on the hands. Well, I did warn you, didn't oh, I? I know, I know. I'll find me in your hands. You mean you want my permission to sack Ada? What, me sack her? Oh, I'm terrified of her. No, no, lad, it'll have to come from you. From me? Oh, the poetic justice of it. Ada, I have come to claim back my canteen. You're fired. Any of your cards, put on your act. And don't argue with me, woman. Get you back to your housework. You'll do it. Are you mad? You get the fire brigade. <laughs> And in any case, I got my principles. What after what you've done to me, I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Name your price. My bonus. You shall have it. Good lad, I hope. Wages while I've been away. All right, I agree. With overtime. What, overtime? And I was due for a rise, was oh, I? No, the no, rise. No. The rise. All right. Sit down, George. You've gone through a very hard time. Ah, you're a hard bargainer. Yeah, how can I get rid of Ada? With that money, dynamite. Oh, I think it would be better to go Look, broken. Do you to... mind? I'm trying to think. Well, think of me. Think of poor Ruddy Governor. Now, there must be some Pay, pay, pay all the time. Overheads, income tax, college fees. College? Yes, I have a daughter studying to be a teacher in domestic science. Oh, yeah. Domestic science? Come on, George, we're going to be busy. Hello, Etty. What now? Look here. If it's too Ada, my love. Far be it from me to be the bearer of bad tidings. Oh, Etty, what's wrong? No, I can't tell. Etty, tell me at once. Well. No, I can't tell. Etty, what is it? Tell me. All right. What? Yes. Right. Joyce. Yes. Home. Yes. Etty. Um. They're coming. Right, girls. I want to thank you very much indeed, Miss Potter, and all your young lady mates. I didn't expect six. Well, Dad phoned. We all wanted to come. More gravy? Yes, please. Oh, I can't wait to see Ada's face. Uh, Eddie, son, don't overdo it, lad. Here, yes, there they are. Oh, my God, what's this? I have an inspiration. You have your inspiration down here. We're under starter's orders. <laughs> what's all this, then? Oh, milk. You'll need some home milk and I've done with you. All right, you can get back to council. Go on. That way. <laughs> Not you. No, you. Teddy! Let him go, Mum. We've got the ringleaders. I gotta go upstairs and get my typewriter. <laughs> Inspiration working again, love. Yes, darling. Yes, well, it's a better, because you've got to think up a peach to satisfy me. Oh, but he was the ringleader. It was him. It was Pop. Yes, I'm Pop. Sure Pop. Pop. That leaves you and me, doesn't it? Does it? Yes. While I was doing your job, you fell down on mine, didn't you? Did I? Yes, you did. So that's me done. I'm finished. I told Mr. Potter and he said that you can have your old job back so you can get up there. Yeah, I will. I... Have your dinner first, dear. Looks quite nice. Well, I must say this, Ada. I reckon you've taken this real handsome. Yes, and so has Mr. Potter, letting us leave at a minute's notice like that, and he was, he was that grateful. Yeah, but he's like that old puppy. Yes, yeah. he even gave me your bonus and all your back pay. <laughs> hey? Because I told him you wasn't entitled to it. You done what? But he insisted, so I saw it was put to good use. Ada, what have you done with my money? Don't worry, dear. I've bought something you always said you'd buy if only you could afford it. Hey, missus! In here! 